That's right, you're welcome back to Street Report on Airborne at the 103.5 FM. I am Martin Ifanj Kugwe Guru as a number the first. Remember that you can hook up with me on Facebook at Martin Ifanj Kugwe Guru Metal or you su subscribe at YouTube, like at Hip Hop Came Home on YouTube. Yeah, as we celebrate love, you know, as you know, that's the season we have found ourselves in. Uh, would you say that? 2022 have been favorable, you know, some so far, or do you think um, uh, it is too early to even, you know, to even talk about, talk about this stuff? Meanwhile, a lot of people are happy right now. A lot of people, there are lots of people who are happy about the year. Then there are lots of people also who are not very happy about it, who are still complaining about it, basically. And I know, like, people who their experience so far about 2022 is just happiness happiness you know everything they need anything they everything they have been working on is just moving on fine and i know a lot of other people who are complaining about njafia here and there njafia hi so why some people are complaining about njafia you know uh, some other people are Celebrating the profits made so far this year. So no matter where you belong in these two categories, you know, one thing is worrisome for the both party. Uh, that is, they are worried about the cost of transportation to keep keeping up, you know, until the day the blessing shows up or to continue to make more profit as the case may be, basically. Every business person, you know, understands that profit of uh, like profit of, of one day could cover for the losses of months or even years. And those in the civil service, you know, a promotion to better positions, you know, that's where they will earn more. It's like the hope for them to continue keeping up, you know. And when we generate, the state generates as well. So. Keeping an eye on the inflation of buses or tricycle fares is only fair to keep the society moving. If some people get the opportunity, you know, to inflate while others can't, is that not lopsided in itself? The amount of security we like we have reflects the amount of truthfulness you know in in our lives you know it reflects the amount of like truthful uh the way uh, like how truthful we are towards ourselves you know because we are the security we are secured based on how truthful we are about our situation. So the job of the journalist is needed at all points in the development of any society. So the challenge is on the road. Is it enough for constant inflation? Just had somebody call and you know complain a lot about the challenges on the road as well. So <laughs> is it enough when somebody or some people are walking around the streets with like some kind of weapon, maybe dagger, and in the name of collecting tickets, illegal tickets basically, you know, and we wash them and walk away like how does it consign me, you know? And remember that what you fail to address today might affect you tomorrow. And sin is by omission or by commission. But just the way we don't look at anybody to share us on, you know, so will I tell anybody that wants to make a change not to think about what people are saying when you are building for a better future. So we must look past our challenges as a people. We must find a way to forge ahead, even with all these challenges.
most times I hope that we get to the point where we'll discuss human, like how to improve uh, human exploration. I'm talking about uh, uh, improving improvement in innovation in in, in, in invent, inventories. You know, uh, that's what I'm talking about. Hello. 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 Uh, yeah. Good evening. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Good evening. Okay. Instead of talking about inflation now, for inflation in tricycle, you know, I hope that someday we'll just talk about innovation, like that we invented this, you know, that somebody invented uh, maybe a motorcycle or maybe in or or somebody invented this or that, you know, that's like the stories i would like to hear one day i would like to report one day because if we continue like this you know before we know it the rest of the world might moving towards a different direction and we on a different direction as the world is going digitizing you know we'll keep talking about analog analog And because we make a couple of profits and some buying and selling is not enough reason to spit on the face of knowledge. It is not enough reason, you know, to spit on the face of information and communication technology. How do we think beyond the unthinkable? How can we, you know, think beyond the norm? Then how do we destroy the get-rich-quick syndrome?